Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Disney review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 10776, Mickey Mouse and Friends, Fire Truck and Station. This set includes 144 pieces and retails for $39.99 when it came out back on August 1st of 2021. Now right off the bat you might notice that this is a 4 plus set. LEGO released this whole line of Mickey Mouse and Friends sets that are all 4 plus. I would have liked to see them do something that wasn't 4 plus. That would have been really cool to see. But hey, I'll take what I can get. Main attraction of this set has to be getting Goofy in a cheaper set than the Disney train station that we got a few years back and getting Pluto for the very first time in a more minifigure scale form compared to the one that we got in the last Mickey Mouse theme. Another thing to note about the box is that we still have the Disney logo up at the top just like the Disney princess sets though we have minifigures in here so it makes me think that possibly next year or maybe in the future if this theme does do well that we could see more animated Disney sets, which would be really amazing to see with minifigures and not the mini dolls. Spinning to the very back of the box, you see that general layout that you see in a lot of these 4 plus or juniorized sets. And we also get your push tabs in order to open it up. So let's take a look at the box contents. Looking at the box contents, you get a total of three numbered bags to build this set, in addition to a bag with some of the larger pieces. We also get three instruction manuals, which I don't really like, but you have to remember that this is a 4 plus set. Looking at the instructions, we get one with the firehouse build and Mickey. We have one with Minnie Mouse as well as the fire truck and another piece of the fire station. And we have the last piece of the fire station and a small grill with our Goofy and Pluto characters in bag three. Now each of these instructions feature something different on the back of them. From the back of the third instruction booklet, we have this very nice Mickey and Friends advertisement where we have the art that you see on a lot of the box arts for these sets. Pretty cool to see that. From the back of the second instruction booklet, we have an advertisement for all of the sets within this wave. I have one more review coming up and I possibly will be getting this one in the future. Maybe this one. I mean, I might get them all. We'll have to wait and see how these reviews go. And then lastly, from the back of instruction book number one, we have the wind guy along with our piece count for a total of two pages leading to the final overall model for that instruction booklet. Looking at our very first minifigure, we have firefighter Mickey. Now, one of the big new things included on this minifigure has to be this new hat-head combo piece where we have three instances of dual molding with the flesh tone as well as the black and then the red for the hat. This piece is also modified with a hole on the very top of the hat if you want to place an accessory on top, so you will see the same exact piece being used for Minnie Mouse. As for the outfit, we get the same exact printing for the torso and legs that we also get for Minnie Mouse in the set, which is a little disappointing that they didn't change it a little bit, but, you know, I don't think little kids will notice that. We get some pretty nice printing leading all the way from the bottom of the feet all the way up to the belt piece. They really went all out with these minifigures. We get the white gloves, which is signature for Mickey Mouse. And we even get the fire logo represented again from the very back of the torso. Looking at Minnie Mouse, again, we're using that same exact new head mold. It just has the printing of the eyelashes to represent Minnie Mouse. We also get this bow from the very top, which is technically exclusive to the set, only coming within the ice cream parlor set that she also comes in within this wave. We get the same exact outfit that we see for Mickey Mouse with the printing from the front and the back of the torso and that very nice leg printing, which I really love that they did that. They went all out. And then the white signature hands, one accessory being this water gun as opposed to Mickey who comes with just this squirt bottle. Probably the main attraction of this set for a lot of people has to be getting Goofy in a $40 set. Compared to a $200 something dollar set that he came in in 2019, the Disney train station. Now the headpiece is the same exact mold and coloring that we see in that 2019 set, so you don't have to worry about that. We have three instances of dual molding with the green from the very top, and then the black, and then the flesh tone from the very front. We also get the printing for the eyes on that mold. You can take a look at that. And then we get printing from both the front 
and back of the torso for that apron style. Would have been nice if they included some leg printing, but it really isn't necessary. Would have been nice if they continued that apron down to the blue legs, but it's okay. We get those white signature hands for these Mickey Mouse characters, and then finally we get two of these sausages that we can have him put on the grill. And lastly, we have for the very first time in LEGO form, Pluto, which I really can't believe that LEGO placed him in this set instead of putting him in a direct-to-consumer or something like that, which possibly we'll see again next year if we do get another Disney-themed direct-to-consumer, or even if this line continues, we'll see him return. He is all one mold with that spring yellow color being used all around. We also have some additional inputs for this dual molded piece where we have this soft plastic for the black of the tail, which also goes into the body and through to the ears, which those are also slightly adjustable if you play around with them. It makes it easier so then little kids don't break the character, so that's really great that they went all out there. We also get the green printing for the color and also the printing for the nose and the mouth as well as the eyes. Another additional thing I might as well point out is the fact that we get a hole on the very top if you want to put an accessory there. Maybe we'll see something next year. We get a stud from the very back of his back. And then we also have the area where you can actually clip on the feet. Now as a junior set, this build doesn't particularly interest me. I mean, yeah, I like a lot of these printed pieces that we don't typically see in regular Lego sets in general, but the builds just aren't up to my general standards. I mean, it looks nice, this piece. I don't care for the vehicle. That side build really is, it's good. I mean, it's great for setting the scene and all, but it's just not really necessary, especially some of these smaller things that, you know, you gotta keep in mind as this being a four plus set, those will definitely get lost in a young child's collection. So to start us off, we're gonna go small to big with everything included in here. First, we have this yellow box where we have a bone for Pluto. You can have Pluto grab the bone if you really want to. One of the very first things that you build in this set is this little fire which uses a dish piece and then the typical fire piece where you can have Mickey Mouse put it out with his little spray can. Looking at the grill area, you have a little grated plate area to place your hot dogs. You also get another one of those fire pieces. I don't really know how this grill works. It's rather weird in my opinion. We also get this little shady area just to have a little bit of shade underneath the grill where you have Goofy cooking. You can place him right there on that studded area and have him cooking the sausages. Now when it comes to the fire truck, it's very blocky and I don't really care for the shape, but it's something weird and wacky that you would see in the world of Disney in terms of like a fire truck. I really like getting the ladder piece in yellow, that's a really interesting color to see it in. Another thing that I might as well add when it comes to the wheels is the fact that they're all one entire piece. This time, this is brand new for this year that they're actually putting the wheels together and they, I believe they're glued together so you can't take them apart. That's something interesting that I thought I'd note. It also comes within one other set, I'm pretty sure. Within the Mickey Mouse theme, as far as I know, when it comes to the Junior sets, that's something new that we're gonna start seeing a lot of. We also get a print from the very front on this 1x4 tile that's exclusive. We have the windshield area and also just a little lights. And we have a seating area for your minifigure of Mickey or Minnie. And then you also get a steering wheel. You can have the other one clip their hands to the ladder and just have them riding on the back. And lastly, we have the fire station that comes apart in three pieces. You have the clip piece connection from the very sides of these two areas to connect to the main station, which is the first thing that you build. When it comes to the station, we have this giant light gray base area, which is exclusive to the set. We also get an exclusive door frame area, which has these prints where we also get the windows with these Mickey Mouse logos on it. I really love that. We have a little bell, fire logo again, and also just another little detail where we have that little water faucet. From the very front, we also have this little gateway so you can open and close this in order to bring 
the fire truck through the station. We also get one of those sliding poles, which I don't really get the purpose of this existing in this general vicinity. It maybe would have made a little bit more sense if it was on the other side, but I, I don't know what Lego is thinking there and you know, it doesn't really work. I wish that there was a way to clip it up there so then, you know, you'd be able to keep it up there. But then again, why are we sliding up and down here? It just doesn't really make sense to me, to be completely honest. One of the best things from the very top of this is this new mold for a Mickey Mouse headpiece. You can see we have some anti-studs from the very back of this. And then the full plain black from the front. This comes, I believe, within all of the new Mickey Mouse and Friends sets. So, you know, if you get any of them, you'll be able to get this new print. Very cool to see it come in all of the sets. Lastly, from the very back of this, you can see that we have another steering device thing going on, which I believe that might be to turn on the water here, even though we already have that, but I don't know why it exists. We also have two more clip pieces from each side. As I said, you just connect these from the side of the main build in order to create the station and also just face it like that. So then it does have somewhat of a curve going on. Wrapping up with the two side builds of the fire station, each of these feature an exclusive print from the front of this cylindrical wall element where we also get another window with that Mickey Mouse logo and just some brick patterns. Inside the interior, we have a small little seating area where we also have a coffee mug for Mickey or Minnie or maybe even Goofy if you want to. And then we have some speakers for like an alert symbol going on where we also have this translucent blue cone piece. For the other build, we get that same exact print from the front of that wall element piece. And then I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Maybe a computer, I'm guessing, where we have one of these printed 1x2 cheese slope pieces that you typically see in the Star Wars sets these days. And then from the very top, we have somewhat of like a lookout tower thing where we have the binoculars piece as well as this radar dish that you can spin back and forth using the clip piece connection. So overall, for $40, the minifigures alone make this set worth it. I mean, yeah, the price per piece for this thing isn't great, but if you think of it, these four plus sets have a really great value. You get four exclusive minifigures in this set of Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, as well as Goofy for the second time in a cheaper set, and Pluto for the very first time in Lego form, really love that new mold. We also get an abundance of exclusive printed pieces, as uninteresting and unuseful as they are probably out of this situation, they're very nice to get. I also think that kids are really gonna love this set, not only for the abundance of different play situations that it offers, but just because all of the characters are really interesting, and you know, it's minifigures for Disney, I would really love to see them do more minifigure sets instead of the mini doll sets in the future of their lines. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!